Chris Durig and I'm the Vice President of Sales for Bluebird Turf Products and I'm here today to talk to you about our BB650 Bed Edger. Bed Edger is designed to give you a nice defined uh, 45 degree edge to your any sort of flower beds or landscape beds. Uh, we're going to be focusing on the bed edging aspect today but this is also a multi-purpose tool where you can do prepping with a different blade, same guard for ribbon pavers on your bed or there's also a cable layer attachment it will dig, lay cable, and bury all at once for things such as underground pet fence. And then you can take that cable laying blade with this guard and it's perfect for installing any either plastic or black diming edging that some people use around their beds. Important thing to remember before operating any power equipment is to make sure you use your proper safety attire, which includes hearing protection, gloves, a good pair of work boots, and a pair of safety glasses. When operating the bed edger, you will always be pulling it back towards you. There's a nice red arrow on the back of the blade guard or shield with an indicator of where the edge of the blade is gonna be so you always know where you're, where you're digging. The uh, height of cut is adjustable from two to four inches in one inch increments, two, three, and four inches to adjust the cut height. Pull the pin and you slide the lever. We're gonna cut it two inches today. Slide that into the two inch setting and put my pin back in place. The machine is steerable. The pin here either locks the wheels in place as they are for straight line usage, or you can pull the pin. Now it becomes steerable for contoured beds. When you want to go straight again, you just pop it back into place. When operating the machine, this is your operator presence, the blue lever on top of the handlebar. You have to depress that. And then the trigger beneath the operator presence is your throttle. Pull the throttle and you get it up to full RPMs and you're ready to start cutting and your lever on the bottom of the other handle lowers the machine so it's ready to start digging or trenching. But it's very important you get the machine up to full RPM before you drop it into the ground. Once it's in the ground, you start pulling it backwards. The handle is also adjustable. You'll see right now the handle is more up. It's more for storage um, to take up less room. By pulling this pin, the handle also does fold over for storage or transport. But when you're operating the machine, you'll have it down in this lower position. So when you drop it down into the ground, it then raises the handle up to where it's at a good ergonomic waist height position. Before starting the machine, you wanna make sure that your fuel is in the on position. It's currently off, so you'll slide the lever over to the on position. You've got your choke here for a cold start, which it is cold, so we're gonna go ahead and put the choke on. 